In this short video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a whip pan transition inside Premiere Pro. Now, before we get started with today's video, I did wanna mention that I'm giving away a free video editing t-shirt. If you want to enter to win one of these, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and leave a comment down below. Good luck, and now let's dive into today's video. So to get started inside Premiere Pro to add a whip pan, I recommend using an adjustment layer over both of your clips here. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to my project panel and go to the new item button. Then choose adjustment layer. Make sure your settings match your sequence settings. Click okay, and then click and drag out your adjustment layer over your clips. Now I recommend changing the length of your adjustment layer. You can right click on your adjustment layer, go to speed and duration, and change it to however long you want your transition to be. For this example, I'm gonna choose 12 frames and then click okay. Then I'm just gonna click and drag this adjustment layer in between my cut point. Once you have it placed, we're gonna navigate to our effects panel and then search for offset. Click and drag this to your adjustment layer. We're also gonna add a blur. So I'm gonna exit out the search bar and effects and type in blur. We're gonna click and drag the Gaussian blur effect to our adjustment layer. Once we have these two effects, we can start animating them. I'm gonna go to the beginning of our adjustment layer and I'm gonna toggle on the animation for shift center two. And under Gaussian blur, I'm gonna toggle on blurriness. Now I'm gonna to go to the end of our adjustment layer and then change the shift center to. So depending which way that you want your whip pan to go, you can change one of the values. Click and drag this first value to the right and just align it so it's perfectly offset. So when we play this back, you can see that we've panned from one side to the other. So now let's mess with the blur. So I'm gonna to go to the end of our adjustment layer and make a keyframe. And then I'm gonna to go to our cut point and then change up the blurriness quite a bit. I'm gonna choose 300 as the value and you'll want to change the blurred dimension dimensions depending which way that you're going. So I'm animating on the horizontal axis, so I'm gonna choose horizontal. And next what we're gonna do is select all of your keyframes. So marquee select and hold down shift to select all your keyframes. Right click on them and go to temporal interpolation bezier. This will add a smoothness to all your keyframes. You can fine tune the smoothness by clicking on the drop down and clicking and dragging on these bars to get a more smooth animation. And once we are done, you should have something that looks like this. And that's how you can create a whip pan transition inside Premiere Pro. Now this is just one transition, but if you want to do several transitions, I did come out with a pack of 10 transitions for my Patreon members. If you're not a Patreon member yet, consider joining my Patreon page to gain access to all my templates that I use on a daily basis as a video editor. Feel free to join, it really helps support the channel. But that does it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.